Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America online, thisweekinamerica.us. Soul Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart by Marilyn Lee has been described as a wonderful collection of inspirational thoughts and analysis that will help everyone lead a better life. The book is receiving rave reviews and accolades. Marilyn also writes and speaks about spiritual issues. She's the author of The Camp of God's Tears and Speaking Through Your Heart, currently working on other books as well as movie scripts. She's worked in the industry of insurance, both life and medical, also the banking and investment field, a bachelor's degree from Boise State University, and a master's from Arizona State University. Powerful Inspirational Messages of the Heart in Soul, Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart by Marilyn Lee, our guest on today's This Week in America. Marilyn, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us today. Hello, Rick. Thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. I just hope I can offer something that your your listeners might be interested in. I'm sure that you will. As I'm reading through the book, there's so much that I'm like, wow, this is really good stuff. And I'm sure the listeners will find out as well. And what is interesting, this book, this really didn't start off where you thought, I'm going to sit down and write this book and I'm going to uh, uh, publish it and have a lot of people read it. This was this was rather personal on your part in the, in the beginning, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I was just asked to to write this, and I and I did. Uh, not because not for any other purpose other than to completing my promise. And the result is the book, and it's an excellent book. It's called Soul Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart by Marilyn Lee. And talk about where these inspirational messages came from. And uh, I understand that they came to you at all, basically all times of the day and night, didn't they? Yes. Yes, all times in the day or night I had uh, visitations by uh, angelic forces that spoke to me. I, I had a near-death experience where I communed with God. That's where I made the promise to write the book. I was asked to write the book, and that's where I made that promise. So I, and that happened in 19, um, 19 uh, excuse me, 2011. And, um, and so uh, I've had these, these inspirations, these conversations with God over the years, but also personally out of body. So um, all this came to me, and it had been coming to me night and day throughout the years, but I never felt compelled to really put them in a book until after my near-death experience. And you say in the book that some of these would ping at you until you actually gave them voice. It's almost like these topics were saying, hey, Marilyn, write about this. Yes, exactly right. And the thing is about having great ideas and stuff, they need to be shared this, this, this uh, is about the sharing of all this information. And the reviews are it's excellent. Well, yes, and, and the reviews are excellent. You are touching a lot of people. Just in background, you mentioned the near-death experience. Let's talk about that. You had uh, several spinal surgeries, and there, you still have some health problems because of it. Oh, oh, yes, I do. Well, my first surgery, I had extreme scoliosis, and so I had a 12-hour uh, spinal readjustment uh, done and um, rods and, and pins and stuff up put in my back. But while I was on the table, I flatlined. And of course, as, as I was leaving my body, I saw the doctors and the nurses freaking, trying to, you know, resuscitate me and whatever. And then I knew two things. I knew I was coming back, I knew I was gonna be okay. And then I went straight to God and had a conversation um, personally in, in, in an out of body state. And I, I experienced God as an energy not as a personality. It was total, infinite, divine love, totally embracing, infinite intelligence, totally embracing. And then after that, I had a, some conversation with some angels, and that was pretty interesting. They made me promise to remember three words, truth, strength within. And so I promise I would remember, and I, and I say that, but I've never written it down in any book. But um, so... That's pretty much it, and so I, I wrote this down, started writing everything down right after my surgery as I was recovering in rehab because I couldn't walk for a while, and so I just made notes, and then I, and then I just put it into a book and sent it off. And it's like, okay, I completed my promise. There you go. Well, uh, it, it seems to be pretty popular. 
Well, it does, and it's really impacting a lot of lives. As I mentioned, the book is called Soul, Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart. The author is Marilyn Lee. You'll find the book at Amazon.com. You can link on directly information on the book by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. It's interesting because you talk about, you'd, you'd sort of like to maybe back off a little bit, stop writing as much, maybe even consider retiring. And it's sort of like there's spirits out there that are saying, no, you got to keep writing. This is sort of a, uh, oh, yeah. inspirational, isn't it? There, there's, there's something behind this that's, that's pushing you to force, forcing you to, to put this message out there. Correct. I'm being driven from within. This is not something I have as an ambition. I have stories to tell. And, um, and, and to retire would be to retire from my, from my uh, day job so that I could write all the more because there's more stories to tell, more people to inspire, more, uh, more viewpoints to be shared and for everyone to kind of, if not be entertained, uh, at the very least, um, they could be uh, uplifting. Yeah, the Marilyn Lee is... Because changing people's lives. Yeah, Marilyn Lee, our guest on the program. The book is called Soul Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart. Uh, the book's available at Amazon. You can find information by going to our website thisweekinamerica.us. Interesting, you talk about some of these messages that really stuck with you. In fact, you said they stuck with you like glue. And, and let's talk about those. These are the type of, of topics and messages that you will get in the book. Fight and lose, love and win. Talk about why that's, that's such, so meaningful for you. Well, uh, that came as a message uh, from uh, the son, actually, and he said, you know, it's, it's about fight and lose, love and win. He said, you become what you fight. So whatever it is that we're fighting against, we must, in order to overcome it, become as bad or worse than whatever it is we're fighting against. And so we lower ourselves, and then there's no way we can win, because if we win over them, what have we really won? Exactly. And if we, if, and, and so, so it's 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 not about fighting. It's about standing for your truth. And standing for your truth is different than fighting. And so, when you fight, then you then you change and get worse. And it's hard to feel like you won. I mean, there's an ego thing involved with winning, but ego is not a part of our soul. Ego it, helps us make choices. And yeah. so it's, it's about us being, having more peace in our lives, more joy in our lives, uh, creating better circumstances for ourselves. And fighting doesn't do that. Fighting will not accomplish that. In fact, so fight and lose, love and win. You've got a whole chapter in the book as well on ego. I want to talk about some of the chapters. And uh, first of all, just back on what you were talking about, it's amazing, isn't it, how so few words really say so much? Well, I think so. I think um, I think the fewer the better. But I found that it was necessary to embellish a little bit to get real clear on the angle uh, of that particular topic. You know, um, because I say, you know, experiencing the joy of union with spirit brings joy and peace within, and it's all about being able to access within and and finding our answers within. And so it's um, it's uh, that's one of them. I'll go within your, yes. your core is within you. You know, uh, breathe through your heart, make choices through your heart. Your heart is your connection to God. Our heart, it's our communication center, and it's a metaphor for the source of communication with the universe. And in the chapter on heart in the book, Soul, you talk about everything connects through the heart. This is really the yes. key, isn't it? In fact, you, you've written other books about that topic as well. Well, it's, it's in, that's a theme that runs through all my writing. And the it's camp so, of God's tears is a lot about that too in the characters. Yeah, and in heart, you talk about you must serve your heart. That really mm -hmm. talk about the significance of that because we all hear messages that we think are coming from our heart, and sometimes we feel we have to overrule those with our head. And sometimes we're better off. Most times we're better off just listening to our heart. Yes, that's correct. Because when God speaks to us, it's a still small voice within. And it comes to us through our communication center. And there's times when 
you're just going about everyday life, just driving down the road, you need to turn to a certain place, and you just feel it, like turn here, turn here, turn here. And that comes from within. And, and that's how we can um, be guided in making some choices, oftentimes is ego-driven, and that may not be for our highest and our best or the highest and the best of people around us. And so when we go to our heart, then we're on target. You're listening because to that's the... that's our connection. Yeah, and that's right. one of the important topics, and there's so many in the book. The book is called Soul Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart. Marilyn Lee is the author and our guest on This Week in America. Uh, the first chapter in the book is, is God, and, and we talked about that briefly before. You say the great oneness is your source Talk about that because so many people will refer to God, but but see God in different ways. Yes, we have a broad interpretation of what God is as a, as a as a species, and so um, my information is that God is all there is. That's all there is. The universe is all God, and we call it God as a shorthand for the universe. And we are not separate from our source. That is our source, our Creator, the Creator and creation are the same, and we as souls are flamelets of the bonfire we call God. And so we are all in this together, and when we help each other, we help ourselves because we are all the, those flamelets, and the other person is you. And I was told that we want to treat each other as if the other person were us, because the other person is us, just wearing a different costume. And each of us are, have bodies that we operate that is our costume with all the genetic coding and the physicality of it. That's the costume we wear to act out the drama of our lives. And, and so uh, God is all of this. And, and I, asked, I asked God, what is the purpose of human life and to, to experience experiences? Because while the Creator creates experience, cannot the creator cannot experience those experiences so that's why we're the flamelets of actual god costumed in a body in the physical frequency so that we can experience things and we learn from these experiences and it's either good or not good and when we have a bad experience we can learn from it when we learn from it we change it to a positive but the thing is, sometimes all we need to learn is, I don't want to do that again. Exactly. And so it's, we are all in this together. None of us are separate from each other, and none of us are separate from God. The creator and the creation are the same thing. And so we're all in this oneness. And that's why we want to treat each other well. And, you know, I'm thinking about how badly sometimes we treat each other and and, and wars and killing and, and whatever else, tortures, whatever else we do to each other, it's not the other person we're hurting, it's the whole we're hurting. We're saying that those people are not part of God, and yet we all are. And, and so it's a matter of how you want to look at it. And that's a theme that we we read in all of the, the various topics in the book, Soul. You, you talk about prayer. That's a, a chapter. And, and the importance mm -hmm. of prayer. Talk about that. Prayers of af affirmation. And you say that asserts your relationship with the universe and with each other. So we're back to with each other again. And you, you talk about the oh. difference between prayers of affirmation and prayers of supplication. And I'm reading that going, that's interesting. And I've never heard anybody really break it down like that before. Well, when we, when we ask for something, we're actually saying we don't have it. When we ask, we're saying, implying that we're without, that we don't have everything that we need. And so that's declaring a lack of. And we really don't lack anything, just that we want something. So the... the the expression to ask for something in a prayer is saying we're not we're not good we're not good enough we don't have enough and that's actually creating not enoughness uh, because we create with our thoughts and so when we affirm we are stating we are good we are part of God we are loved 
we are cared for. You know, those are prayer of affirmation. We're affirming the truth of who we are. One of the reviews says, in today's hustle and bustle world, I found this book refreshing. That has to be a great compliment that it is busy time. We are totally caught up. We don't have nearly enough hours in the day to get done what we think we need to get done. You sort of slow things down and get us to think and to reflect and consider us and how we fit in with everybody else in the universe. Well, that's the whole point, because we can get caught up in all that hustle bustle. And I, and I get it because, you know, I work, uh, I work a full-time job and the commuting and everything else and uh, everything that's going on. The thing is, we need to take the, a time, a moment to breathe. Now, breath, we're connected to the source through our breath. Take a moment, breathe, and feel your oneness. You go within, and marvelous things happen when you do. And so, yeah, it, it's, I don't know about slowing down as much as it is stopping for a moment, just the briefest moment, to breathe and feel your oneness, your connection to the universe. And then it just, think, marvelous things start to happen. Yes, it's almost like it's re-energizing. You're refocused when, when you go through doing that. A, a yeah. couple of minutes left in the program. I mentioned that uh, you're not done. You've got spirits that say, no, Marilyn, we need a couple more books here. you got to keep at it. You're yeah. working on, on movie scripts and other books as well. Briefly, what are some of the projects that you're working on? Well, I've got Women of Steel that I'm looking for a, a publisher on. It's actually available on Amazon.com, but I rewrote it to make the language a little bit more sophisticated, and I organized it in a little bit different way uh, because uh, it's a true story, and there's I, I've been marketing it as science fiction because it, there's a lot of paranormal in it. The woman is Mary Meisner, and it's a true story. It's her life story. And because she's a medium and a cosmic hitchhiker, she has many kinds of paranormal experiences. But that's not what her story is about. Her story is about overcoming very severe conditions of slavery and, and beatings and near starvation and so forth to take a stand for who she is and change her life by changing within in an 11th hour kind of decision. And it's a really moving, moving story, and it's um, and it's selling now in mainly in Britain and Australia, uh, but it's I'm looking for a, a publisher here in the states so that we can market it here, and so that's that that one's done. I'm I'm going to start a new script about the Vikings and the Golden Age, of the Vikings that t took place around 1200. That's a true story. Uh, I've, and and Cameron God's truth, of course, is still uh, is still kind of um, resting. It's it's. I wrote a script about that, and I got good reviews about the script. Wrote a script about how I got the message from for Soul, and got uh, excellent reviews. Got a bronze award from North American Film Awards. I saw that. Congratulations. So, oh, thank you. That's exciting so what I'm all you've got yes. going, and you're touching so many people, and I know that's, uh, that's probably the most rewarding aspect for you, the fact that you are getting input back from people, uh, that you've really literally changed their lives. And the book we're talking about today, one of many by Marilyn Lee, is Soul, Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart. It's available at Amazon. The other books that uh, Marilyn talked about available as well at Amazon. If you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, you can link on directly to Amazon and all the information on Marilyn's books. Marilyn, a pleasure having you with us on the program. Uh, best of luck with the future projects. Congratulations Thank on the you. excellent job you've done so far. Don't retire. Keep inspiring people. We'll be waiting for the next book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us on the program. Well, thank you, Rick. I appreciate the opportunity. You're welcome. Once again, Soul, Inspirations Breathe Through My Heart by Marilyn Lee. Information on that available at Amazon.com. And, of course, you can link on directly at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back after these messages. <laughs> 